Hello everyone, welcome back to No Man's Sky Beyond. We're going to do I Did It My Way today, episode number blah blah blah, I don't know. It's really like, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, at any rate, uh, 2.13 patch dropped today, finally on normal public PC. As you can see, I'm wearing the Viking outfit, except for the hat. I might change my hat, I don't know. Uh, we're going to go test out some of the uh, 2.13 stuff. <clears throat> After I sneeze. Now we're going to do that by going home. If I can remember where home is. Maybe we'll go to a base. Or so Tibby. All the way back down to the Gamma Quadrant. We were actually in the Avene Sky Shallows. And, uh... Got an itch on my arm. Okay, uh, yeah, we're gonna test out a couple of things today. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna be successful, um, but uh, this this farm uh, has weighed heavily on my mind since Beyond dropped, and I I wish that I had come here um, before Beyond and harvested because uh, the only thing I have access to right now. If it's daytime, I don't know if it's daytime, is, uh, oh, oh, she's a little rough. She's a little catchy. That might be, I, uh, all these windows might have to go. And I don't mind, oh, don't lean that. Yeah, this is all we have power for, is gamma weed. And what I did was I put some, uh, somewhere up there. I put uh, solar panels up there because I couldn't find power. Maybe we'll run, oh, run a little bit slower. <laughs> this might be a good day to take out all these windows. <laughs> put in concrete. I have considered uh, converting this base to concrete, but I'm not about to do that if I can't get power. And uh, it's, uh, it's a mid-sized farm, and uh, there's some problems uh, with it. Beyond did a couple of things. It lifted it off the ground. See, my base computer is off the ground there. It's really dark. What time is it? 10.23 a.m.? That's interesting. We got some music going on, too. So. Uh, uh, what's the button? Change survey mode. One, three. There we go. Two, three. So it says no hotspot nearby. And I already know that because I have run quite far around this base uh, looking for one. So we're just going to keep an eye on how far away the base computer is. And, excuse me, bouncy. We'll go over here. Uh, I think there's a um, little settlement over here somewhere, if I remember correctly. I hate to run this slow. My god, that's going to take hours. Um, this has been my primary concern, and when they uh, announced that they were going to make the um, the hotspot uh, detector to where you could choose what kind of hotspot. Um, I got really excited, you know, thinking, well, you know, maybe maybe we can fix this base. I uh, I don't want to delete it because there may be a fix in the future uh, for the problem. But at this point, um, uh, oh, that's not three. Uh, so no hotspot nearby. We are uh, uh, I don't know how to turn that off. There we go. Just keep hitting three. Uh, 246 use. We're not even outside the base building 
area. So we'll be able to go up here. It still may not be able to be saved because there just might not be a hot spot within a thousand U's. Although I'm pretty sure there must be because how would you power the gas uh, extractors or the mining uh, hot spot extractors, mineral extractors, I guess they're called, uh, if there was no power? Oops. I don't need that. All right, let's try this again. No hot spot nearby. Let's see here. Now we're at 374. So now we are just outside of the base building area. There is a... Uh, new graphic uh a new change to the graphics and uh if i can get to it without making a mess it's a uh, gtao instead of hbao and that's ground truth ambient occlusion which creates realistic shadowing around objects and i've turned it on to enhanced which is what most of my graphics are on uh, base complexity on ultra and animation quality on standard because that one animation quality when I put it on enhanced my uh, graphics drops off really bad so let's keep going there are other issues with this base but like I said fixing those other issues is not a priority so Now we're 608, 400. And there, if there was a hot spot within 400, we would know because I think it would show up on the survey thing by now. And I'm not sure about uh, expanding the base out to this distance anymore. So there's storms on Orso Tibi. That's odd. I don't think we had storms before. Let's get back there. Uh-oh. <laughs> Crash. <laughs> I guess I should have been using this thing the whole time. So, I did it my way. We'll go this way this time. I kind of wish that I had turned on the patch notes, but uh, mainly uh, what I was looking for was that uh, hotspot detector. Aha. Fantastic. Okay, let's do it. Whoops. <laughs> Look out for that crack cactus tree, George. Way a few feet. The funny thing is, I don't know if I can drop a beacon uh, because I might have too many on the planet already. I knew there was a hot spot out here. You couldn't have all this gas and minerals without having a way to power it. Okay, here's the hot spot. Let's see if I can drop a beacon on it. Ooh, that didn't want to change. Yep, there's a beacon. Okay, we are 506 units away. Whew. 
Uh, wow, the Exocraft's way over there. <laughs> Might be faster to go just straight back to the base. I'm really surprised about this storm. Ouch! <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. So now the question is, can we exp extend the base still? That's the next big question. Put that up there. It's probably not tall enough. Okay. Oops. Ah, there we go. Still gonna clip through a little bit. Go up one more. Okay. If my face wasn't already so complex, I would turn these around and go all the way up and do a second row. But it's pretty complex already. The other problem is going to be uh, wiring because it's basically um, a bunch of things that need to be wired separated by a bunch of wood. <laughs> so <laughs> that may or may not work. Uh, gotta get up in the air here. Where are we at? Right here? Alright. Oops. Wrong button! Tell that's high enough. Oh, yeah, okay. I wasn't too sure about this part. There seemed to be some question about uh, the size of the base uh, being a problem, and uh, we'll just have to, we'll just have to see. Here it is, and we'll just bring it right here. Oh, now I'm cold. <laughs> I don't know if that's, if that's high enough. Oh, that was radiation. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can do this thing. Uh, the other thing uh, is that the um, the power it loses power over uh, over space. So, um, oops, keep hitting arrows. Hot spot discovered. A class. Seventy-eight percent field strength. Eighty-three percent max strength. Well, that's okay. All right, let's get some concrete florin. And I don't actually care if it glitches into the ground. I don't have terrain edits available, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. All right, let's go to power. 
And so far I have everything I need. I can make 40 of these. That's interesting that I'm carrying that much crap on me. <laughs> I don't know how many I need, but I'm gonna start with this many. And I also don't care what it looks like. I'm not like hung up on something that's so far away from the base, uh, you know. It's like totally out of view. Once I pick up that uh, beacon, I'm probably not even gonna be able to see it. It is making a new noise. Hear it? That's part of the update as well. Get out of here. Come out of there. And we will go right up there. I could do this in the build camera, and I might have to do some of them in the build camera. Uh, but I can also do it this way. Here we go. Ready. quite a distance. And there goes one hazard protection. Alrighty. I'm going to make this uh, main connection right to the ATM, and then uh, I'll go from there. I'm really, really, I can't even tell you how pleased I am about this, um, uh, being able to do this. There we go. ATM is wired. But what? It's not powered. Oh, I have to move it. just wasn't if it's just not close enough it is powered uh, ATM. there it is uh, it doesn't want to be on the window it doesn't want to be on the window that's wired okay and that is working okay except that it never like came up Oh, there it goes. Okay. Here we go. Oh, here's a bone. <laughs> here's another one. Can you tell what mission I did last? <laughs> All right. We got success on that part. And now, as you can see, all of these biodomes are separated uh, by wood, and I'll just uh, go out with the camera. Uh, that way I can turn the sun on. So, um, I'm gonna have to go in and string a wire everywhere that they're not touching each other, and I don't think I let any of them touch each other. So I'm gonna have to put a wire between each of them and I'm probably gonna run out of power and have to add more. Oh, there's a calcus room in there, light in the way. <laughs> so over here, I have three solar panels. And oh, I don't have any batteries. There's your answer to that question. 
Uh, I don't remember who asked. <laughs> At any rate, those three solar panels are powering those two biodomes during the day. And I was able to get gamma weed out of them and that star bulb over there. Um, so I'm like happy day. I mean, it's a happy day for me because I was really, you know, it was really bugging me that um, I was gonna lose this base. And um, now I'm not. Power wires. Let me out. We have to go down the stairs and over here. And down there. There we go. Plus all of these boxes all have to be powered, you know, so it's going to be a big job. But, um, but that satisfies that. Now, the question is, what was the other things? Community research, tier four complete, 18% into tier five. These two missions are out of range. I think they're both in the Bean Sky Shallows or in Ocean Beaches. Um, I don't think there was anything else here to worry about. Do you want to give me some nanites? Yeah, you do. Well, I'm excited about that too. Thanks. <laughs> uh, 1,675 nanites. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm pretty excited about this. I gotta be honest with you. I was, I was having a, a tough time uh, dealing, really dealing with this, and um, it was it was really upsetting to me that I was gonna lose this base. And so now that we can pick the hot spot, I mean, I went all over that hillside, um, and uh, oh, that's a nice picture. Here we go. Um, I went all around this entire base. I spent more than an hour running around the entire, like all the way out to 2000, which is way too far to extend it to the base. I went all the way out to 2000 units and um, thinking, you know, if, if all else fails, I can put a relay in between, you know, like a mineral extractor or batteries all along or something like that. But um, yeah, I was pretty upset about it. Okay, cross your fingers that I don't crash. Who? <laughs> 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 about this problem, I don't know. I think uh, just putting a floor there is probably gonna solve it. Yep, it does. That solves the problem. There we go. So yeah, all the lights, all the interior lights, I mean, <sighs> the whole base is made out of wood because this is the first base that we built on I Did It My Way. We started with this platform right here. If you can see where I'm pointing, where the farmer is, where the refiner is, that platform right there was the beginning of the base. And then uh, then I extended this walkway down here and started adding biodomes. I had one biodome right here uh, for the starter plants for the farmer. And it was cutting into the ground and the ground was filling it in, so I deleted it. But now I'm gonna have to come back and take out all these windows. <laughs> because they're seriously causing complexity issues, uh, which I don't know if you can see on video, but I can see as I'm walking around. At nighttime, it's not as bad. 
um, and I'm going to have to come in and string wires, see whether I care about how they look. <laughs> but stringing wires from the ATM through all of these biodomes and all of the containers and then I'll see if it's if I have to add more power I didn't even bother to check how much power that was um, let's see here uh, battery electrical wiring So we are using, we have 2,094 uh, kilopower, <laughs> we're using 87 of it, uh, which is fine, uh, but I think that that's a good indication that I'm going to have to add, add, add more. I think I need um, about 4,000 uh, kp to run all those biodomes, so, alrighty. Let's get out of here before I do anything else that needs saving. <laughs> Once I get the base all up and running and powered again, I'll go ahead and advertise it again. Uh, a sword has been here and I think Poden Stream. I'm not going to run all the way back down there. Um, and uh, it's got great prices on circuit boards. So, all right. Where are we going now? Because uh, I can't remember what the next thing on the list was. Uh, let's go back to Ocean Beaches. And uh, get the uh, Quicksilver done on this save. Or we could switch to the other save, I suppose. Uh, the main save, all of the main save bases are, are powered except for that one base that's just a concrete building floating over that pond. I was in an episode the other day. I don't think I have anything going on here. Although I do uh, want to finish um, this guy. The uh, species milestones and the individual uh, guild milestones are not even close to done. And, um, because it wasn't really the point, uh, of the mission. Those are a bunch of ones that I'd love to do, but they're not passive, so... Let's go call in the anomalous anomaly. <laughs> see what the nexus is saying today so uh, one of the things that uh, doesn't affect us is the activated indium as I understand it it's not the price of the activated indium it's the quantity that you can get in whatever period of time that has been uh, nerfed and I never understood nerfing when they nerfed residual goop that didn't make any sense to me um, you used to be able to buy uh, residual goop, or not residual goop, but the like third step along, whatever it was, in thousands and thousands at a time, and then go cook them in the nanites. You had to make the money in order to do that, and you had to take the time to do the refining. So it was still work, it just apparently wasn't the work that Hello Games wanted us to do. And when that first happened, uh, I was still uh, involved in other games and had barely started playing this one. And um, so I wasn't sure like what the point of the developers controlling their sandbox game, what's the point in that? You know, it's a sandbox game. Some people will never buy that and turn it into nanites. Some people still do it, even though they have to go station to station to buy enough to make any difference. You know, it's, it's all about different kinds of gameplay. And, you know, that was really close to the beginning of Next, so it may just be that um, 
where are we going? We're going to Ocean Beaches? Okay. Um, <laughs> it may just be that, you know, they wanted... Oh, we're not going to Ocean Beaches. Um, they wanted us to go out and do the missions and explore, but it's a sandbox. You can't make people do stuff that isn't required. <laughs> it's like, you know... <laughs> Nanites aren't required. Upgrades aren't required. You can play your game absolutely vanilla if that's how you want to. You never have to add suit slots. You don't have to add any protection. You don't have to add movement modules. None of that stuff is necessary. It just makes the game more fun and easier. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I can't believe I just took a mission from Larval Cores. And it's on the dead planet. It's on Racker Miner. Or it's on the moon of Racker Miner. Miner. Yanez. <laughs> I think uh, Racker Miner, the frozen planet down there. Uh, I I think that's where the multi-tool is, or was. <laughs> it moved, and we've indicated where it moved to. It's in the Discord. Uh, it's an alien 24-slot rifle, and it's a beautiful one. It's green. Uh, it's green, almost green all over. So, uh, hello. There's lots and lots of poisonous plants around here. I don't see any eggs, though. Oh, for goodness sake. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll take these two. There we go. You have a hazmat glove, which costs nanites. <laughs> you can just pick those things up. So we gotta find eggs. Now that we're not in the hole, there's an egg. That's not an egg, it's a rock. Here's one. Yay! I'm going to save myself a lot of uh, harassment here and build a station, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I think the Nomad is probably the most funnest one. All right, let's go over here. There we go. Now we'll find some more. <laughs> Fifteen of them, that might take a long time. There's two right there. Alrighty. This is by far the safest way <laughs> to do this. It's also the funnest way on a dead moon. Um, uh, a Rock and Mary and I have been doing a lot of this playing around on uh, this moon, just not on this save, so you can't really see the. Uh, you can see one of the bases. Here's A Rock's base right there. Oh, that's not it. Okay, can't see the bases. <laughs> this is a blast. <laughs> it doesn't really get the job done. <laughs> Here's one. <laughs> Mostly I just laugh a lot when we're doing this. It's, uh, we laughed for hours. Um, thought I saw one over here. 
maybe I just saw that dihydrogen and thought it was one. It's really hard to see. Is there no light on this thing? Apparently not. That'll turn the light on. Um. Huh. All right. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> the hard part is not launching into space when you're trying to stay on the ground. <laughs> you can run them over. Squish! This is Mary's favorite thing to do. Squish! Squish! <laughs> Alright, let's try to stay on the ground. <laughs> My render distance isn't very far, so it makes it harder to do this at night time. It's hard to see the eggs. So uh, Mick, JT84, and I got together last night, and we may have, maybe, possibly fixed my streaming problem, uh, at least the main one, which was audio, and uh, we'll see about that uh, pretty soon. Oh, you bit me. That wasn't very nice. Squish. <laughs> <laughs> this would be a lot more fun on a live stream for sure and uh, you know I recognize that but uh, if you've been with my channel since the beginning you know that I've struggled uh, with audio problems uh, really since the beginning squish <laughs> legs going everywhere all right um, I've struggled with audio problems since the very beginning and the reason is because I don't know what I'm doing, number one. And number two, um, the way that I'm going about it, my cigarette went out. The way that I'm going about it isn't standard. Uh, I'm not, uh, it took me a long time to get accustomed to uh, hearing my voice uh, in my headphones while I was recording and uh, so the major difficulty that we had at the beginning of um, my first and only so far live stream was that I had an echo and it was caused because I have my system set up so that I can hear my voice because once I got used to it I couldn't get unused to it and uh, the whole rest of that stream, I couldn't hear what I was saying, which is, you know, not the best circumstance. Here's another one. This is taking forever. <laughs> um, you need to be able to hear. And uh, my headset's really big. It's uh, Artemis Log uh, Logitech Artemis. It's really big and cumbersome, and hanging it off of one ear is just, like, on my tiny little head, it's not, not going to work out. So, uh, all this time since then, <clears throat> all this time since then, Nick has put some thought to it, and uh, we figured out something. And I did a super short recording last night. Uh, which is just me saying, test one, two, three, four. <laughs> Super duper short. And, um, come here. Here we go. Um, and it seems to be working. So we will have to see. They're going to come right after me. I'm not far enough away from them. There we go. <laughs> Squish! <laughs> Where are we at? 11. Four more to go. Uh, if I go 
a different direction all of a sudden. Um, so we got that worked out, and it worked in recording, uh, but we'll have to see if it works live as well, but it should, because uh, as Mick said, it's the same sound. Uh, whether you're recording or you're live streaming, it's the same sound. There's a bunch of them right here. Where'd the other one go? Ouch! Oh! There. <laughs> Where'd the other one go? <laughs> you really get launched. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna get you for that. Fighting me in the butt. Get you. I'll get you. And I'll get you too. <laughs> and you. <laughs> you guys should subside. <laughs> Squish. <laughs> These rocks are not gonna help. There we go. Um, one more. And there's one right here. I saw it. Squish. Squish. <laughs> Legs flying everywhere. <laughs> Alrighty. No duds that time. Here we go. Now, where's my ship? Is that my freighter? Oh, that's my starship. Okay. There's my starship. Let's go. <laughs> this one is not souped up. The one that I have uh, on my main save that we've been using is, <laughs> is seriously souped up. <laughs> it goes so fast. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is... Is this what I think it is? <gasps> oh, it's so rare. I'm so glad I caught this on video. Check it out. Oh, this is so amazing. These should not be here. Starship launch fuel. Don't care about it. Go in there, Nomad. Nothing in that one. This is stunning. This is absolutely so cool. <laughs> I don't see a region marker though. I'm not surprised. This shouldn't be here at all. I'm gonna drop a beacon. And... Oops, went too far. I'd probably have to build it. Nope, still have one on me. All right. Here we go. There's a beacon. There's so many beacons on this planet already. Okay. Oh, there's some floating crystals. That's not so unusual. Uh, but the uh, shelter there is definitely bizarre on a dead planet like that. I want this stuff. Oops. There we go. <laughs> right there is our last laugh. Let's go up to the anomaly and get paid. That's very cool. We powered Orso Tibby. We picked up a ton of larval cores. I went to the wrong place. I need to go to the trade post. Darn it. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> I told Sword that last night when he did it. <laughs> Lunch. <laughs> Let's 
deliver the larval cores. There it is. Right there. On Racker Miner. Uh. So I'm gonna get uh, Permadeath the Journey uh, out and uh, do an episode of that and then we'll continue the walkthrough. I watched Sword do almost the entire Artemis mission last night without doing any of the other stuff. So you don't have to follow. I don't know if I made that clear. You don't have to follow the going to the anomaly every time and going to uh, the Atlas every time. Uh, but getting it all done at once is the intended thing. If it wasn't, it wouldn't come up in the instructions. Uh, so we'll go to the anomaly. I'll cook those later. Uh, so every one of those larval cores that I have left is uh, worth 50 nanites. <coughs> I have 10. That's 500 nanites. Uh, just try not to hit that. Well, I did try, sort of. <laughs> if you've never uh, taken a nomad or a bike, the motorbike is also very awesome on Zero G planets. You won't get hurt unless you jump out. <laughs> you might get a little bit hurt. Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, it's pretty awesome fun. That cannot be the same airless moon because the airless moon that we have the racetrack and the uh, demolition derby thing on are on an aggressive, aggressive sentinel planet. Alrighty. Uh, stay in system. I don't know. Complete mission. Here we go. And yeah, all right, you guys. Ah, mischief managed. <laughs> I want to thank you all so much for coming along on this journey. Uh, I did it my way is the first series that I started way back in February of 2019. In case you're seeing this in 2020. <laughs> and this character is still alive and kicking. Uh, I wish I had chosen to keep 38 minutes of permadeath instead, but this one is awesome, and the 38 minutes of permadeath character was in another galaxy with no way back back then. Uh, now, if you're in another galaxy and you've dropped a base computer here in Euclid, you can just go to the anomaly, uh, go upstairs to the teleporter, and teleport right back. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.